Let's review math, grade 4, module 3, lesson 36. Multi-digit multiplication and division, topic H. Multiplication of two-digit by two-digit numbers. So let's solve 23 times 31 using area to model the product. So we're going to use the area model to help us find the product of 23 times 31. So here's the rectangle we're going to use. And I'm going to begin by looking at 23 and breaking 23 up, saying 20 plus 3. 20 plus 3 is the same thing as 23. Now I'm going to take 31 and I'm going to break 31 up into 30 plus 1. Now I'm going to put my 1's place on top and my 10's place down here because we're going to start with the 1's place. So then I'm going to draw a line showing that I'm breaking up my area model. I'm going to break it up into two different sections this way and I'm going to break it up into two sections this way. So now I have four parts to my area model. If I figure out the area of each part then I will be able to find the area of the total. So I'm going to begin with this section over here. This is going to be one times 3. 1 times 3 is 3. Now I'm going to do this section. 1 times 20. 1 times 20 is 20. Now I have 30 times 3. I'm going to be looking at this section of the area model. What is 30 times 3? I can think of 30 as 3 tens. So 3 times 3 tens is 9 tens. 9 tens is equal to 90. And now I have this section, 20 times 30. I can think of 20 as 2 tens, and I can think of 30 as 3 tens. 2 times 3 is 6. 10 times 10 is 100. So I have 600. Now if I were to add each one of these areas, each one of the inside of my area model, if I were to add each one of these numbers together, I would get 713. So 713 is the product of 23 times 31. Let's find the product of 26 times 34 without using the area model. And while we do it, we're going to record our partial products. Now, I want to think about the area model when I find my partial products. So I'm going to bring out an area model and I'm going to break it up. So I'm going to take 26 and I'm going to break it up into 20 plus 6 and I'm going to take 34 and I'm breaking that up into 30 plus 4. Now I'm also breaking up my rectangle and I'm going to break it up this way. Now that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to fill it in. I'm just going to put it together and think about each one of these as I fill out my partial product. So when I'm doing my partial product, I'm thinking about 4 times 6 and 4 times 20. So I'm thinking about the area of this section, and I'm thinking about the area of this section. So what is 4 times 6 ones? That's 24. What is 4 times 2 tens, or 4 times 20? 4 times 2 tens is 8 tens. 8 tens is equal to 80. So these are the partial products that would have ended up inside these. Now let's take a look at what I'm going to do for this 3 that's in the tens place. 
See, I multiplied 26 by 4, and this is what I have so far. Now I'm going to multiply 26 by 30. I'm going to start with the 6. 6 times 30, or 6 times 3 tens, would be 18 tens. 18 tens is equal to 180. Now I need to do 30 times 20. So 30 times 20, I can think of that as being 3 tens times 2 tens. 3 times 2 is 6, 10 times 10 is 100. So the product of 20 times 30 is 600. Now I just have to add this stuff up. 4 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 2 more is 18. And then 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. So the product of 26 times 34 is 884. So let's look at um, a, a question from the problem set. It says, in each of the two models pictured below, write the expression that determines the area of each of the four smaller rectangles. So essentially for this first block here, I have one rectangle that's been divided into four parts. So this is one of the parts, this is one, this is one, and this is one. I need to write an expression that would figure out the area for each. Now we know area is length times width. So for this, I'm going to do this one right here first. I have one, two, three, four rows with two in each row. That's four times two. For this one, I have one, two, three, four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that one is four times ten. Now I have this one down here, which I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times two. And I know that this is 10, and I know that this is 10, so this has got to be 10 times 10. Okay, so now I have done the first part. Write the expression that determines the area for this rectangle, for the four smaller rectangles in this rectangle. Now I need to do the same thing for this rectangle. So this one is 4 and 10. I know that area is multiplying the length times the width, so in this one, I'm going to do this one first actually, this one is going to be 4 times 2. This one will be 4 times 10. This one over here will be 10 times 2. And this one is 10 times 10. Now part B says, use the distributive property to rewrite the area of the large rectangle as the sum of the areas of the four smaller rectangles. Express first in number form, then read it in unit form. Okay, so I have 14 times 12. That's what I'm beginning with. So what did I do? I first broke up the rectangle into four parts. And I said 4 times 2. That's the first one that I did. So this is going to be 4 times 2. Now this one was this smaller rectangle right here. This one was 4 times 10. Now I have to look at this one. I had 10, and I multiplied it by 2. So this one is 10 times 2. 
and then this last section was 10 times 10. Now I need to read this in unit form. 4 ones times 2 ones plus 4 ones times 1 ten plus 1 ten times 2 ones plus 1 ten times 1 ten. All right, that's going to wrap things up for lesson 36 where we've been working to multiply two digit by two digit numbers using four partial products. You can get a collection of all the videos if you go to tinyurl.com slash lpssmath4. And also you can get other resources and the videos if you go to lpssonline.com, hover over Parent Command Center, scroll down to Math Resources, go to the grade level you want, in this case fourth grade, and right now we're on Topic H in Module 3. If you click there, you would get our newsletter, which can help explain some of the strategies we're using. And then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of that page, you will get to some helpful videos that can help you with your homework.